The Central Club. Would you ever allow him on 3D Fight Club? Never in my life. As if I'd leave that yoke on my platform. You're mad. Jesus. I think we play, I think it'd be closed on off that. I think that'd be <laughs> end of 3D Fight Club. <laughs> Let's be honest though. Yeah. It would be great to see him in a ring. It would be. He is electric. Isn't he? Yeah, but look out. Yeah, look out. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but he look. Is <laughs> he's just. He's. He's a strange. He's a strange individual, isn't he? Did it, it would always be something. Yeah. Isn't it? You think the night would go perfectly well, and the next day you get like five complaints off women or or, or mothers or <laughs> something will happen. Like, isn't it? Cause you, you know, know how many saying? things? Yeah, but you know how many things that get made up, don't you? Even if it wasn't true, yeah. And people just love to put out there. Oh, you don't know what he was doing in the back changing room and all that's that. True. That's I'm true. I'm telling you, there'd be a lot of things getting made about him, even if it's lies. Do you that's know what I mean? true. Because the, you know what they're like on the YouTube. But you, I think I've told you, and like I never select a pe few people now, and I, I still haven't put it out there to the public, but. People don't even know what happened when he come down here, mate. But, like, this is what I'm saying. And come on, then. Let it out. Come on. Let it, you, may as well, you may as well let it out now, aren't you? Oh, I never put it out, though. Like. Well, you may as well put it out because everybody else has. And uh, we said a few things that you said to us about the dog licking and kissing the dog. And all that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, listen, you though. told me yeah. Yeah, he was proper <laughs> having it with the dog. <sighs> right, go on, fill us in. Listen, I've right, the podcast told... has turned back round now. He, hey, I'm the one yeah. giving him the questions. Thank you, 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 can, you can start hosting, and, <laughs> and you can ask me the questions. Right, so what really happened with Derek in <laughs> Cardiff <laughs> when he come down to stay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Take it take it from the beginning now, yeah? And this right. is for the audience. We're all listening now. Stay tuned and just listen carefully. This is true and this is facts. Right, right. take it so, over. I just want everyone to know <laughs> that... Shut up. <laughs> I want everyone to know, right, that I haven't told any of this <sighs> because during the time of, of this Decker thing, there was a lot of just... I was kind of enthralled in that kind of YouTube circle. And the one thing that I've always wanted to do with the Central Club is not be about drama. You know, I'm not here to troll anyone. I just want to interview people. And if they are controversial characters, that's as far as it goes. We interview them and that's it. Like, I'm not here to, to clickbait and all that type of stuff, Doug. You know, yeah. and I didn't want to have that name oh, stuck. That's why, that's why I'm back here for the third time. Do you know what I mean? You're, you've been proper with me and everything you do, you're a man of your word. Yeah, thank And you enjoy man. a good chat with you. Yeah, so we do have a good crack. We have a good crack, man. And um, and that's that's what it's all about, you know. Like, and and the respect you've given me is how I, I would treat you, and I'd expect every guest to do the same thing. Yeah, I was very naive early on. <laughs> I was very naive. <laughs> Get your mic on because you're going to need to say stuff. Huh? <laughs> you're part of this story. This is a great story, by the way. No, so so obviously, right? I was very naive because at the beginning, what like what I've done is I've made mistakes where I've. Like let people stay over my like, or I've I've brought people into me like my personal life. Yeah, be too. I've nice. mixed business yeah. with with pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. <clears throat> so, how I even met Decker Heggy was through Darren G. Yeah. Now the Darren G fucking blocked me as soon as he introduced Decker, which I find quite <laughs> weird as well. But He's Darren out of there. Like, me and Darren were still talking at the time, and he introduced Decker to me, and he was like, "I got a guy. Yeah, he wants to do a podcast. He'd be great on your show." Name's Decker, he's good stuff. And I always thought, if Darren's saying it, like, you know, Darren's quite, like, arm's length with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He must be okay, like, you know? So um, he said, I'll come down for a part two, and also I'll bring Decker down the same day, and you can interview him. So I agreed on it, and that's what it was. A week later, Darren switches on me. Oh, I, I fucking, I'm done with, I, you know, because basically I booked a date with Decker, and also... Um, I was giving, I was doing a giveaway on a boxing glove and I was tagging loads of people on the Instagram and one person I tagged was Liam Ditchie. So because I tagged Ditchie, he blocked me. Weird. So he's, but I'm lunch with Decker. Yeah. So this Decker's <laughs> like, when am I coming down, mate? When am I coming down? Anyway, yeah. so I booked him down one time. Comes to the day, I've paid 300 quid for this ticket. He ends up saying, Oh, mate, I, I got the wrong date. I got the wrong date and all that. So I lost the 300 quid, whatever, yeah? yeah? And then another time I'd done it, he let me down again. And then the next time, the third time, he was like, listen, I want to come down, I want to come down. And the only reason I, I brought him down was because it was the weekend before your fight, yeah. the, the Danny Christie fight. Yeah. And I thought, 
I gotta get him down, you know, because this is this is big, like you know, and, and, and like this is gonna be big. Um, so I booked his ticket, whatever. Now this weekend of 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 the podcast was Autumn Internationals with Wales Rugby. So they were playing South Africa, Argentina. It's always busy in Cardiff, as you can imagine, being a Welsh rugby country. So all the hotels were booked in Cardiff, so I couldn't book him a hotel. So what I did was I got a caravan or a camper uh, of, <laughs> of someone I know, and I put it on my, my, my parents' drive. I couldn't put it on my drive. Me and my missus were living in a flat at the time. Yeah. So I put it on my parents' drive. Put it, I, I put a TV in there. I put fucking quilts in there for him. Fat munch, you know, I proper kitted it out. He, yeah. he wouldn't have wanted nothing. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to just put him in a camper van for him to like, to, oh, I, there's <coughs> nothing to do with him. Just hang around my estate and all that. You know, I, bearing in mind, my mum and dad live on a nice estate. <laughs> like, this isn't like near <laughs> town. This isn't a hotel where you can go for a wander and see the sights. This is like, you know, suburbs. Do you get me? He's on a camp, right? So there's that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, day comes. Fucking me and Luca. It's me and Luca at the time. Shout out to Luca. Me and Luca are hosting the podcast. So he rings me. I'm on my way down, mate. I'm on my way down. He was fine at the at the beginning, and then every phone call he made at every train station, he starts to sound more merrier and a bit more <laughs> electric. Ah, <laughs> oh, what it is cool. What it is cool. I've just had a fucking. I've just had a miniature whiskey. You know, I like great, <laughs> you know, whatever, like, you know, you're having a drink, you know, whatever. Yeah. By the time he gets to Cardiff, right, this is in the autumn, it's dark early. By the time he gets to Cardiff, right, he's pulled up at the train, right? He's got his fucking shirt and he's got his backpack and all that. Like, and he's all like looking around at people, he's like, you know, yeah. I'm like, fucking hell, this guy's mad. Go on, what's happening, mate? Like, he's fucking pissed. He's pissed by the time he's come. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> So we guess in the car. Now, my dad, like my my family are, are blessed, yeah. They they're good. They're good people. They also like they they like to have a drink on the weekend. They goes down the local boozer, yeah. It's the rugby club. My dad rings me just to say, Oh, did you get that girl? I says, Yeah, we're on our way back now. But this is about seven o'clock. I, and I don't really I, I I need I've I've got not I've got another two guests. I haven't just got Decker the next yeah. day. I've got another two guests. And you know. He's just one of the guests. So, you know, I've got to go home. I've got to, you know, write my questions, make sure I've got my shit ready. I've got to go home and shit, yeah? So my dad goes, why don't you come down to rugby club? You know, the, the rugby game just finished. Wales, I think, won. Why don't you just come down to rugby club? Have a pint. Bring Decker down, you know, like. And 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 there's just a load of blokes down there, like, and they've all watched the podcast. They know about you. They know about that. You know, they're just lads, like, you know what I mean? Who watch it, yeah? Bring Decker down, so I thought, yeah, why not? Do you know what I mean? I said, do you want to come down to rugby club? He was like, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. But I was in. <laughs> you know, as you can imagine. We're in the back of the car. This is how mad it was. We're in the back of the car. He's already on his phone saying, hey, cool. I just signed into fucking Fab Swingers in car. You know, like, <laughs> so, so he's on Fab Swingers. He's on Plenty of Fish. He's on Tinder. And he's changed his location to Cardiff, thinking he's going to get his all for the night. I'm like, no, mate, it ain't that gig. I said, you're staying in, my, in a camper on my mum and dad's drive. There's no chicks coming here, mate. Yeah. we got to get up early in the morning. Just don't worry about it, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. One of them ones. So um, we goes back to the club. So we've gone to the club, we're having a pint and that, and like, Decker's being respected by people. People are like coming up to him, oh, how are you doing, mate? You know, and I don't think Decker's never had a reception like that before in his life. He's never yeah. been welcomed that way, do you know what I mean? And he was welcomed, do you know yeah. what I mean? And there's women there as well, stuff, and he's trying, and he's speaking to women and all that. And I remember him coming up to me and saying, Colin, he said, this, I've never been respected like this, and I feel like you're my family. He's like, <laughs> proper loving it. And I felt like fair play to the guy. I said, people talk shit about him. He's actually been really respectable. So anyway, last orders was called. And now I got to go as well, man. My missus yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing? Like, we got to, I don't know, I'm going to bed, like. So um, up up where my mum and dad live, right, next door to them is their close friends who are also down the club. And they normally go back and have a party at the night, you know what I mean? Drive crack a few bottles of vodka and whatever, and they have a drink through the night. My dad's like, come up, come on, let's go to Bobby. Let's go to Bobby. He's like, come on. And he's asking me to go as well. I said, oh, I'll go for one then, and I'll have one with Decker, and then I'm going to have to put him in the camper van, Dad. Do you know what I mean? And he, and Lock he him in. Yeah, you know, I, I need him up, like. So we go to the fucking camper van. 
we're drinking, you know, Decker's here, few of my mates are there, and my mates got banter, and some of them are fucking weirdos anyway. They're proper weirdos, you know what I mean? Get their cocks out, weird, whatever, you know, just just nuts. <laughs> like, you know, like Dirty Sanchez, the, you know, yeah, like jackass. Yeah, yeah. They're just like them, just lads. Anyway, but they're not instigating this. Decker's instigating it all. Like, yeah, so Decker's here, everyone's around, you know, and Decker's standing up, like, and he's trying to, like, you know, have banter and stuff and yeah. talk about some of his fights and stuff and whatever. So he comes over to us and like, and he's like, if anyone want to see my cock? <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, does anyone want to see my cock? Have you ever seen a cock this big? You know, and he was on about like, you know, like a baby's hand holding an apple and all that. <laughs> like, I'm like, I have to get away because one of my mates is just like decking in that sense. Yeah. But not this weird. Anyway, so when we go... We goes into the room where all the bottles are and where all the alcohol is and stuff, yeah. Uh, and Bobby comes in, whose house is he says, Let's get a bottle of Jack. He had a litre of Jack Daniels. Decker popped the litre of Jack Daniels. He's already steaming. So we're in there then. And I remember we done a video and he was like calling Danny Christie out because he was a couple of days before the fight. Danny yeah. Christie, I'm going to fuck you, you know, all this and all that. <laughs> uh, we had a photo and then uh, I said, I got to go. I got, I got to go, like, do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. I, I'm like, Dougie, I'm like, Decker, mate, come on. I got to go now, mate. Like, you've had a good time. I need you up. Like, please just go to the go to the camper van. Get your head down. Yeah? Quickly, before that, when I brought him up to the house, right, yeah, I had to quickly usher him, right, to take his bags into the van, yeah? yeah. So when they've all gone to the house party, we've gone to mine, and my auntie was staying at my house the night because she was with my, my, my sister, and they were drinking. So... Yeah. And and, and I, I'll never forget it. My auntie was in the house getting something when I brought Decker around. And as we come out like that, Decker goes, is that your auntie in there, Cole? <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, why? And he was like, oh, she... Not. And I'm like, you fucking... Pre stay away from my auntie, yeah. mate. So I'm like, fucking hell, my auntie's staying here tonight. He's steaming. <laughs> He's on a camper van. Just fucking stay in a... Don't go in my house. Just me, told you know me. <laughs> yeah. Because my, my house at the time is just open door policy. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah, welcome. Yeah. He can walk. If he needs to go to the toilet or whatever, yeah. just go in. Do you know what I mean? So I'm having to go now, right? And he's like, no problem, go. My dad goes, my dad goes. He said, I with me, we'll have a couple, we'll have one more. I'll take him back. We'll have a coffee and he can go in like that. And I'm like, you sure, dad? You sure? He's like, yeah, he's fine. My dad's safe as fuck, like Jimmy. He's like, yeah, he's fine. He's cool. He's with us. And he was fine. I felt he was in good hands. I thought it was just banter. Yeah. So um, I goes and I'm panicking now. And I'm thinking, I hope it's all right. But I'm thinking it's cool. It gotta be. Yeah. It goes home. Anyway, does my thing. Goes to bed. I wakes up in the morning to my missus on top of me, whacking fuck out of me. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Now I'm thinking someone's died or <laughs> something's happened. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> look at your phone, look at your phone. So I've gone through my phone, right? And I've got messages like starting at like 12 and they finish at like four. And it's like, Get up here. It's my dad. Dad, yeah? Uh. Get up here, Col. Colin, it's Decker. The next message. He's fucking nuts. <laughs> Colin, you need to get up here now. He's a fucking psycho. And then the next one's like, he's been tasered. They've got him. Oh, he's fucking God. nuts. You need to get up here. <laughs> Oh, and he went till five in the morning. He's gone. <laughs> so I woke up. Right, I ring my dad. My dad's obviously hung over. And he's woke up. He's, like, oh, he's fucking nuts, mate. My Did he get tasered over giving it to the dog? My mum's like, what the fuck's going on? My, my mum's shouting in the background. He's a fucking weird. Like, this is my mother now. Yeah. My mother's a good person, school teacher, you know. What the fuck? He's a fucking weird. <laughs> anyway, so I goes, what happened? So I goes up the house, right? Because he's arrested. Now I'm thinking, I'm fucking fuming. But I don't know what's happened. I'm going to go up there. And I'm going to grab all his belongings because yeah. my mum was shouting in the background. She was saying, I ain't having this fucking guy bailed back to our house. I don't want him fucking yeah. nowhere near this fucking house. Yeah. Um. So I went up the house to get all his belongings and take it down the police station. Yeah. yeah? So that's what I did. Now, I spoke to my dad. I said, what happened? He went, oh, he was just pissed. He said, I was pissed. He was, it's, just, it's, it's, it's fine. Just go and do what you got to do. I said, well, what do you want? Sh shall I fuck him off or what? He said, just go, go down the police station, see what's going on. So anyway, I go down the police station 
And I go to the staff sergeant because I know, like, obviously, you know, when I get bailed, if I've been arrested somewhere, like, they'll probably. They know you well enough. Yeah. Well, it won't bail me to the house, but it'll say on the on the thing, like, the address of where I was arrested, probably. Yeah, yeah. Or the police, knowing them, they would fucking drop him off back, which they would have because I found out that when Decker's in the fucking police cells. Yeah. So I, so I goes there and I goes, for, there's a guy in here, his name's Decker Heggie. They went, oh, yeah, I know who you're on about. So they knew straight away. <laughs> and these are not, these are people just at the desk, they're not sergeants out the back. These are in the fucking... Yeah, reception. Oh, yeah, yeah, reception. Yeah, we know who you're talking about. I'm like, oh, fucking hell. I said, look, here's his stuff. I don't want him... I don't want him coming back to my gaff. Take him to the train station. And 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 that's it. They must have knew I was at the reception because as I'm leaving, my phone rings. <laughs> Hello? Oh, is that Colour Mace? Yeah. Oh, it's Detective Staff Sergeant at Cardiff Bay Police Station. I got Derek here. Can you come pick him up? I said, what? He went, yeah, can you come pick him up? I said... Why can't you drop? He went. Well, he's asked for you. He said he's got an interview. He's got to do. I'm like, is this guy fucking for real? <laughs> what he thinks I'm going to do a fucking interview? He's after being arrested at my mum and dad's. He went. I said, listen, mate. I said, my mum, my mum's scared. Yeah. Like, I don't want this guy coming out. Like, just take him back home. He's pissed on his fucking chips. He went. Listen, mate. He said, honestly, I wouldn't. I said, are you trying to drop him on me? Like, why can't you? You know, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. that, isn't he? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Make your own way home, like. I said, he went, listen, he said, call. He said, and then the officer knew me. He went, I wouldn't just say it. He was just drunk, and that's it. And I like, he's very apologetic. I would trust him with me, like, all right? And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so I rings my old man. I goes, what shall I do, dad? They're saying he's just fucking, you know, they, he's been asking for me, like, as if, like, so obviously he's woke up and gone, where am I? You know, uh, <laughs> I got an interview with Central Club. Can you ring Cullen? Like, that's what he's obviously <laughs> done, isn't he? Yeah? yeah. So I was saying, like, Dad, what shall I do? And my mum's like, fucking tell him to go. Fuck off. Fuck him, the fucking weirdo. And my dad's like, no, just do it, Carl. Do what you got to do. You spent the money again. He's laid you down twice. Just do the interview and fuck him off. Because I knew, yeah. I thought that interview would have done well. So anyway, I just said, oh, bring him out here. Yeah, just bring him, let me see what he's saying, innit? So he comes out and... Uh, he, he's not even apologetic. He, 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 like, I'm like, what the fuck are you playing at, bro? And at this time, I don't know what's happened because I haven't had time to find out anything, yeah? Dave just told me it's drunk and disorderly. My mum's angry. Yeah, but they're trying to save you for like, just to get you to get your job done. Yeah, yeah. yeah and they'll probably tell you afterwards. Yeah, so this is what happened, right? So oh, this is he, goes, he goes, uh, I can't even say I'm sorry because I don't even know what I've done. <laughs> and then he dropped on his knees outside the police station and just started crying. And I was like, oh, he's obviously sorry. Like, and Luke is like, what the precious interview? Was it? Like, let's get him to Great the studio. Actor. <laughs> and you, right. So, so I, I'll tell you what happened on that day before I go back. And, I'm going to tell you how I know it. So he goes to the studio and he was very like apologetic, not apologetic, but he was like, cowardly, weren't he? You was there. Um, and, uh, but it's like, even when we were at the coffee shop, we went downstairs and we had some food and every woman that's walking past, he's just like, ah. you know, like <laughs> you're talking to him. Yeah. And there's a woman coming. He's going, <laughs> you see her call? You see her call? And every single, I'm just like, this guy is a predator. <laughs> like, what's going on here, man? What, what happened last night, you know? But I thought, you know what? Fuck him. He's, he, he has, he's wasted my money twice. He's wasted my time today. Yeah. I'm fucking, I'm using him now. Yeah, just I'm get doing done. this interview, you know? Which, you know, looking back, it's just fucking mad. But so um, my dad drove down. My dad drove down to speak to him. And my dad just said, don't worry. And Decker was like, I don't know what I've done. I'm really sorry. And my dad was like, don't worry about it. We're all drunk. And, my, and to, to this day, my dad still says, he was just pissed. It is what it is. But it is a violation. And like, if me or my brother was here, one of us would have died that night. So. Fucking hell. Was that a serious? Well, 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 one of it, because obviously it's my mum and dad's house, man, innit? Do you I know, I'm not about that. I'm not about what he done. Well, well, yeah, like it's, it's, it's muggy, innit? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. like he, he would have obviously been up for scrap. Oh, sorry. I know. Yeah, no, no, I know what you mean. I know. I thought so, he meant he done something to one he, he wanted. Yeah, no, say. no. So I'll see what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. tell me what you think, innit? Yeah, yeah. So um, we've done the interview, jogged him on. And I said to him when we got out of the police station, I said, listen, I don't know what the fuck you've done, but you've let me down, bro. So I'm, I'm saying it how it is. Let's just do the interview and fuck off back to Carlisle. And that's it. And he was a bit like, oh, okay, okay. Because like, I don't know how he was feeling about it, but I, I, he could tell I was pissed. Yeah. And then we, 
as we're driving back, this gives me another insight to him. This guy's a fully grown man. As we're driving to the studio, his mum rings his phone, like to see oh, how you doing. You, you know, oh, I'm on. Yeah, we're off the way to the studio now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't be long. <laughs> and she's like, all right, be good, be good. And I'm just like, fucking hell, this guy. Man. <laughs> Yeah, I said, what are you tell her you got fucking arrested, you little mug? You know? Anyway, so we done this, and that was that. Anyway, so I goes back home. And the, the reason why I'm pissed is because my auntie and my mum were quite pissed off that I, they were like, I can't believe you've done that. Yeah, this, this is what pissed me off. Like, why did you do the interview? And I was like, well, fucking dad said. And I thought, yeah, fucking do it, innit? So um, I've left. And now I, I've come home, and the whole affair, Water, know about Decker Heggie's arrest. Um, what you? What you? But me. Oh no! About, like I know about the arrest. No, but you don't know what don't, for. So, <laughs> so oh. what's happened is the boys are like, mate, he was fucking weird at the party when you left, and I was like, why? He was like, he was necking uh, Bobby's dog, like proper necking the dog and playing with his cock and that, and all this mad shit, like proper oh. rubbing him, but like rubbing his like bum and his like, you know, his balls. And that. This is what they were saying. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, mate, he was fucking weird, mate. Like, we well, had that to That's that fucking weird yeah, shit. Yeah, all this shit, right? So he was necking the dog. <laughs> yeah. That's what I got told by one of the boys, you know? Um, I, you know, when my dad tries to play it down, when I see, he's like, nah, he never done that. Like, but, but the boys were like, listen, he did. fucking did, mate. Like, you know? So apparently they've all finished drinking whatever, and my dad. Well, he did like, say he wanted to get his hold, didn't he? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And he he was in a camper van, so he's not going to know. Well, let's say a dog's a man's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking deck is. So he's gone. I can't believe I'm telling this story. Like, you know, like I didn't. I did, you know. So my dad's took him back to the house again. It's, it's the end of the night, you know. Oh. They, they're all there. Oh, but, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my yeah. dad's just like, well, just come on, Deck, let's go now. Like, you know, whatever. They want to go home. And he's trying not to go. Like, he wants a fucking party now. He thinks it's fucking 1999, don't he? And he, you know. <laughs> yeah. So eventually they get him back. And my dad's like, right, let's have a coffee. And he said, as soon as he got in the house, he just switched. He said he just turned into fucking someone else. Yeah. I'm the hardest man in Carlisle. Do you know why I'm fucking hard and all that to my dad? Now, my dad is a big guy, yeah? yeah. But my dad is soft as shit. He ain't a fucking yeah. fighter, like, yeah, yeah. he's a fucking lover. Yeah. yeah? He's not like my brother or, or his brother. Like, uh, they, they, me, I'm, I'm like my dad, I think. Like, I'm more of a lover. My brother and my dad's brother are just different. They're just wild and, you know, they can have a go. But, like, my dad's like, I know you can fight deck. Like, I've, I've watched your fucking videos. And he's like, yeah. I'm the fucking hardest man in Carlisle. All this shit, like, yeah? My mum's upstairs in bed. My auntie Lucinda is awake upstairs. Listen to her for now. Listening, yeah. So, <clears throat> this is my dad's words, by the way. And I, and I never said it because I didn't want to shit stir with any of you, yeah, yeah. right? My dad has said, he said, phone fucking Dougie Joyce right now. I'll have it with fucking Dougie Joyce. Not Danny, because I said to my dad, I said, you mean Danny Christie? Because he was yeah. going to be fighting Danny Christie. Yeah, he said, yeah. no, he said Dougie Joyce. Phone fucking Dougie Joyce. And I thought he meant phone Dougie Joyce to vouch. Yeah. My dad said, no, he was saying phone Dougie Joyce, I'll fuck him up now. Yeah. This is what he said. Like, the this, dirty dosser. I, I can yeah, speak you know, to my yeah, dad yeah, about no, this. Please, this, is yeah. the, this is what my dad don't talk but yeah, but yeah, But yeah, kiss me arse. Kiss me arse and then they get the fight on. Yeah. Phone fucking Dougie Joyce. And my dad's like, listen, mate, I, I'm not phoning fucking Dougie Joyce. I don't know Dougie Joyce. This yeah. is my dad, like, you know. Uh, just go to bed. Go 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 in the van, mate. Come on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, and now he said he was starting to get quite like f angry and her. So yeah. my next thing you know, he said he sat down on the chair and he's fucking falling over. Oh no no no! He stood up and where my chair is, he said he was frothing a bit. And next thing you know, he's just falling over and fucking landing clap on the floor. And he's on the floor going all this like frothing at the mouth, but he's flat face planted. And my dad said, "Fuck this! I can't be dealing." It's like my yeah. dad's gone upstairs in a type of like get out of the way sort of thing yeah. and said and phoned the fucking police yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad's like fucking I yeah, fuck that, yeah. do you know what I mean now the thing is my brother was at the time my brother was out with two of his mates and they'd all fucking naughty do you know what I mean mm. so if they went up there yeah because my, my dad was like my mum was like phone Bradley who's my brother phone Bradley phone Bradley and my dad knew not to and I'm glad he never because like I said, someone would have fucking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. my brother or Decker, 
one of them would have fucking got killed that night. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So my dad was like, no, I'm going to phone the police. And my mum was like, no, fucking ring Brad. And he was like, no, I'm ringing the police. So we run the police. During this time, my auntie Lucinda's gone down there to try and calm him down. Bearing in mind, earlier on in the fucking night, he's going, is that your auntie in there? Yeah, oh, in wow, the yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, she don't know that though. So she's gone down there. You okay? You okay? Come on now, Dak. Go in the go on, go in the camper van. Just chill. Now he's headbutting the wall in my fucking house, bro. Yeah. Big disrespect on us, uh, Dirty Trump. Do you like me? These are the words my auntie has given. <laughs> These are the words my auntie said. Exactly. Do you like me? Do you like me? When you come for the coffee with me tomorrow? Do you like me? Am I good looking? All this shit. Oh, my auntie's like, whoa, much. what the fuck is this guy on about? Yeah. <coughs> Again, freaking fucking out. Prop banging and all that. Like head butting the walls and shit. That's when the feds come. The feds come. My dad said he was outside. Yeah. And the feds came and they were women. My dad goes, listen, turn around. You need to get the, you need to get big. He's a big guy and he's fucking kicking off. And obviously he was kicking off downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. They went, oh, it's okay. It's okay. When they got there, they realized that he was who he was. And so when the guys came <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's when obviously fucking, it, you know, he kicked off with the police then. Uh, apparently, yeah, he got tasered and then they had him in like the T-lock, you know, when they put you in the T-lock. Yeah, yeah. And that's how they took him away. And that's, and that was Decker. So Decker, come in, in a nutshell, yeah, with all the truth and detail I've given you. In a nutshell, Decker was invited into my home, into my community, that, yeah. to do a po podcast. Yeah. Violated the fuck out of it. Yeah. And um, there's two reasons why I haven't spoke about it. Number one, because I'm ashamed that I let that happen. Yeah. And number two is because I just, I just ain't here to fucking talk about the dramas, and I want people yeah. to know that. I've done this podcast purely on positivity, you know, and and I could have easily have jumped on the deck of bandwagon. Yeah, of At course, that yeah. times, I could have jumped on the humble dryers, could have jumped on all these people who have tried fucking outing him, and I could have got thousands of views every fucking day. And mil that's not what we're about. Yeah. But you know, I think it is about time. Yeah. I I spoke about it. And I bet you feel glad now you got it off your chest. I feel right fresh I air, though, feel, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do feel glad. Well, yeah. this has been a long time. I remember course, your yeah. favorite demon. Like, he was the first person I told about because he used to speak off the phone, that guy with the mask. And he was like, You need to say it. You need to say it because, you know, and, and I never did. And I told I told you. Yeah. You know, I just won't get over the dog bar. <laughs> you know, yeah. licking dogs and shit. And was he licking his balls? Licking, well? his ball, licking, <laughs> licking his balls. Licking his balls. He said, bro, he was he was groping the dog, bro. This is what I mean. yeah, bro, <laughs> Poor old dog. He was fucking molesting his dog, mate. I was like, what? He was like, he was proper molesting the dog, mate. Trying to get his cock, show photos of everyone of his cock and all that. Did the dog not do a statement against him? <laughs> he was barking. <laughs> barking mad. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's, it's, it's wild, I know. Um, but I think, I think people deserve to hear that because do you know what the worst thing about it is? It's like, Things that have happened with Decker, like I have asked myself that question: Have I, uh, am I like um, enabling stuff? No. But 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 that, you know, you're only telling the truth, aren't you? That's it. No, but the fact that I kept it in, like, oh yeah, kept know? it in like that because you people would have thought you jumping on the wagon, all that crack, because everyone's giving it to him. But why is everybody giving it to him? He must be doing something wrong, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Not everybody can give it to you. You know, that's some sort of truth. But um, uh, you know, I think people should respect the fact that, like, you know, I've got my my like my my auntie, my mum. They they're yeah, not going to be happy that I've said this because you know they're like, don't don't mention it, call please, please, please. So they they were pissed off about it and they can't stand him, but they were like, don't mention it. But I've you know, it is well, what it is. It is what I it is. I don't give a fuck what people think anyway. Yeah. You know, I've told the truth now. The Central Club.